tiny though it is, the damselfly preys ferociously on mosquitoes and other small insects. And if I were a bug smaller than him, those bulbous eyes, like something from a Japanese horror movie, would strike terror in me. The 30,000 facets in each eye offer him crisp vision in every direction at once. Up, down, forwards, and backwards, if you see what I mean. As is so often the case in nature, the fiercest predators, cats, hawks and owls, foxes, minks, are beautiful. And damselflies, with their vivid colors, belong in that category. Now, they're often mistaken for their larger cousin, the dragonfly. Both belong in the insect order, Odonata. But the damselfly has a slimmer body, and its two pairs of long, filmy, net-veined wings rest along its body when it lights, rather than sticking out at perpendicular angles. Its eyes are separated on the forehead, where a dragonfly's eyes meet in the middle like a motorcycle helmet. Oh, and one more difference? Dragonflies eat damselflies. Damselflies are only a link in the chain of predation. Birds, frogs, even spiders can prey on these insects. Damselflies hatch from eggs and live underwater for a year or even two, depending on the species. The larvae are called nymphs, which is an awfully innocent sounding word for these small, fierce predators. Eventually, the nymphs metamorphose into adult damselflies and spend the remaining month or so of their existence mating pretty much every time they see someone of the opposite sex. Now, I remarked earlier that damselflies are vivid, but actually that isn't accurate. The males are vivid. The females, drab. But dull though they are, they have all the sex appeal they need. Males eagerly latch on to females, literally. At the end of the male's tail is a pair of claspers. Positioning himself above her, he fits those claspers into grooves behind her head that are designed to accommodate them. Then she bends her body under herself and attaches her vagina to his penis. Now, don't go imagining a miniature version of what you're used to seeing, ladies. No, the damselfly male is equipped to first clean from the female any sperm left by her last paramour. So his member serves first as a spatula and only then. Oh, my. Oh, well, as I was saying, only then does he get down to business. Pardon the coarse language. I meant to say that when the two become one, they form a heart. Aw. People without romance in their souls refer to it as a wheel. As you can imagine, a male who first rids his new mate of all signs of her last liaison will prefer not to have his own sperm suffer the same fate. Depending on the species, then, he will either follow her as she lays eggs, fending off any new suitors, or, as in the case of these northern bluets, he will continue to hold her while she lays, even to flying in tandem with her during a process that could easily take an hour. The female uses a blade-like ovipositor to slit open segments of vegetation and stick eggs into the holes. You can just barely see the ovipositor in this shot. The eggs will hatch in a few days, and if the nymphs aren't eaten themselves, they'll someday emerge as hot-blooded damselflies.